Alright, hello and welcome back. I hope everyone is safe. This current event so far has been amazing and it is also slowly coming to an end. We're reaching the end of the month and the next event might be on the horizon. Well, uh, we have also a new event released at the moment. It is the Dragon Boat Festival. And well, time to check it out and let's see let's see what it's all about. Oh, well this is a familiar face that I haven't seen in a while. This that character is so uh, what I've read what I seen people say about that character it was pretty funny inter and, inter and interesting of course. She uh, she seems to be one of the favorites uh, between the Punishing Bavarian community, which I which I I kind of understand why, but uh, things get uh, really interesting from that point on, and overall uh, we we are going to see more of th more of that character, and also she might even become playable at some point in the future. Uh, well, well that's also uh, something a a speculation that we all have around. And, hmm, well, interesting. Uh, this is the Nonor Boros map, if you remember. One of the first maps that we, uh, that gets introduced to us when, uh, when one of the first Nonor Boros events was released. And this map is really nice, really big. And I think it's time to return to it. Let's see what will happen. Okay, that's a nice loading screen. Well, there we go. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is pretty much one of the first maps that uh, that is in the game. All right, well it's time. It's time to take out these enemies over here, and I guess continue with the story. So, well, I think so far it's been a good run. Okay, there we go. 70, 75 combo. <laughs> Interesting. Really curious about the next event that will be released in... oh, a cutscene! That's very nice. Did not expect to see cutscenes over here, but looks like there are. Alright, what's all... what's all this? Oh, there we go. Okay, now there's... now there's Sofia joining the part. okay. Now there's... there's Sofia joining us, interesting. But where did she even come from? <laughs> That's the biggest question. Oh well, looks like uh, looks like I'll have to take out these enemies with Sofia. Not a big problem. But what was I? Yeah, I was talking about the next event. Well, next event is on the horizon. Pretty much should be out in less than two weeks at this point. At this point, I don't know when the current event will end. I think it will end in in a couple days from now, and after that. Uh, we can expect a new update, and then next up it will be bi will be a big thing, since it will bring a lot of new content and a lot of new stuff to the game. Pretty much all updates so far uh, have been really big, and they ho they have all been really important for the game. So far, these developers have have done a really good job at uh, making the game that that I play at the moment, since uh, they had their ups and downs, and so far I. I I I think it's safe to say that they are doing a good job. Well then, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> that was really interesting. So, oh, okay, well, looks like we're going to we're going to you'll see you'll see in the la in in later on parts of this video. But uh, this it's gonna be a really interesting story. Looking, I was looking forward for a story like this for a while now, and well, we finally got it. <laughs> Excellent. The last, uh, the last story that was like uh, chill and stuff was the one, one on the, uh, the Christmas story. I think that was the one of that was one of my favorites still, even though it was released a couple months ago. It is still uh, the best like uh, side event story that we've gotten. I I pretty much enjoyed it a lot, and I think it's really moments like these in this game are really important and uh, I really hope that they will make more of them since they are quite the defining for this game and they're they have big value in the game well then uh, looks like commander is getting yeah they're waking up commander okay <laughs> that's interesting he's about to get get woken up from his slumber oh or, or guess not okay well, well back to the desert map alright Looks like, yeah, of course, we're, we're about to 
go and go get him and bring him back on the station or something. I don't know. But the next update for the game uh, will be will be really big. I am really curious to see how the swimsuits for the other characters will look like. I think they will look really good. We uh, we could see only the swimsuit for Aslev, and it was and it was looking really good, but. It's only one that we could see. There, there is more, of course, that will be in the game. Uh, I think more than four will be released. Like four uh, is confirmed, but I personally think there is going to be more than four. I expect. I expect something like five or six. Since oh, well, since of course, don't uh, don't don't forget, one of them has to go for Lucia, or two of them. I don't know. Well, uh, this character definitely never... N that character is never angry, <laughs> which is really interesting. As long as the commander is around her, she will never get angry. And of course, I still did not get Raven, <laughs> as usual. But it's okay. I will... From this point on, I will save up all my black cards and I'll just skip the character since... Since it's obvious that I'm not going to get that character. But that's alright. I mean, I made. Uh, I would have gotten her, but I made a dumb mistake, and well, and well, um, that dumb mistake costed me not to get the character. So we'll have to be patient and just wait for for future characters to to arrive, which of course um, will happen. And well, I will I will pretty much wait for the future characters. And about Ravenwell, uh, I will skip probably. But anyway. Uh, let's keep on with the story. Well, the commander is is woken up now, so he's now a part of uh, part of everything what's going on. And by the way, it is really interesting how the how the main cast of the game, Lucia and Lee, already are in their S forms, while Liv is still in her B form, which is really interesting. I don't know why is she, why she is still in the B form. Um, she can switch to the A form and she can switch to the S form easily. I just don't know why she doesn't do that, but okay. I mean, I don't mind that. She doesn't not she doesn't want to switch bodies or some reason for some reason. That's that's kind of weird. But at the same time, I can understand. So that's that's interesting. All right, onto the onto the playable part now. Oh, there we go. Finally, I can play with Raven. Oh, okay. This character is like this character is I I really like the aesthetics of this character. She looks really good, and the overall uh, design of this character is really good. Fant actually, actually a fantastic design of the character. I'm um, uh, I don't know. She just looks really good. I like the I like the design of the character a lot. It takes uh, inspiration from uh, both B Lucia and A Lucia and combines it into one, which makes me think. Is there going to be? Uh, are they going to give us more Lucius in the future? Since this is the S form of the of the clone, is there going to be another form of the clone in the future? That's interesting. That's a kind of a kind of a good question. I since I have no idea. I have no idea how how things will progress from now on, since uh, both Lee and uh, Liv have S forms. All both of them have S forms. I don't know if they will make uh, multiple S forms of the characters. That's a good. Qu that's actually a good question. Are they going to make multiple S forms for the characters? That's a big question, actually. And of course, there's Nanami, uh, which will get a uh, A form really soon, which I'm looking forward to. I think that character deserves a uh, A class, uh, A class body, which will happen. But uh, again, that that is something that is actually confirmed, by the way. Uh, so um, I don't know what other characters like uh, Watanabe still has to get the S form, which I think will happen. Will happen in a couple months. Dark Kamui is also announced to be released, uh, and that's also probably a S uh, S class. In around two uh, uh, two two updates after the next update, there is going to be an S uh, S class. I will go and get that character. I think since well, I need all the S classes that I can get. But after that, it's going to be another uh, A class, and after that, it's going to be another S class. So things are definitely going to be really interesting from now on, in this game at least. 
and I'm I'm looking forward for most of these uh, most of these contents and stuff that that are going to be released, especially the new characters. Well, uh, still on this event map. By the way, this event event map kind of reminded me on something that uh, reminded me on a game that I played like long ago. Uh, I kind of I don't know if I forgot the name of the game, but the scenery and overall the map design and everything reminded me of that game. And oh man, those were the good old days, like <laughs> some rough, some rough fourteen or fifteen years ago. Yeah, those were the days. But well, uh, let's, go, let's go back to reality over here, in into present in the present time. Okay, um, that was interesting. All right. Well, so far the dialogue is 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 pretty decent and. I think, uh, yeah, this is this event is so far so far really good. I enjoyed it. I enjoy ev events like these a lot. And there is Lucia. Okay, well, uh, of course it's Lucia. Cannot say no to her, right? No one can say no to her. No one can say no to her. <laughs> don't make her. Don't make Lucia sad. Although, although she literally, I don't know that 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 girl is. Can, that girl kind of changed personalities so much, it is not even recognizable with the original Lucia. But okay, um, who knows if other characters will also change personality? That would be interesting. That would be really interesting to to see. I don't know how people like the personality of the new Lucia. I think uh, that they do like her, but at the same time, they don't want. Uh, they don't want. They didn't want to cha change the previous Lucia, since, as people have said, the current Lucia that we have here, the, the Reset Lucia, the S rank Lucia, Raven Lucia, is pretty much a thirsty 24 7. Uh, and, I'm not, and, not, and I'm not even joking. She is a thirsty for the commander 24 7. And, well, yikes. Uh, that's something, <laughs> that's something kind, of, kind of funny. What is this? Another. Another cutscene, okay. Well, familiar faces, okay. Oh my god. Oh no, the hangman. That's not looking good. That's not looking good at all. Oh my god. And there is Alpha. What the hell is she? Oh, it's my character, okay. Yep, it's my character, alright. For a moment I thought... For a moment I thought, what the hell is Alpha doing here since... It's kind of far away for Alpha to come here. Even with a bike, she cannot just, you know, walk in on uh, walk in on these on these enemies over here. Although she technically can, she technically can. Okay, I I pull my words back. She technically can. Oh my God! There's the hangman. That's yeah, not looking good. The hangman is about to hang me. There we go. Oh, look. oh he has like he has six, eight, five HP bars. All right. Not too, not too difficult. Well, that that boss is that boss is one of the most difficult bosses in the game that I fought. Well, he died he died quickly, but he is still one of the one of the most difficult bosses in the game and one of the trickiest bosses in the game. All right, uh, rightfully so. Okay, uh, let's let's keep on let's keep on moving. All right. Well, <laughs> that's kind of a interesting dialogue there, and yeah, uh, all the cast is about to go on to the station. If you're interesting, if you're interested in that, we're about to return to Eden. It is really interesting that Eden can actually move from uh, from Earth orbit to Moon orbit, and usually when they are in like when they're uh, off service, I think they put the station around the Moon's orbit. Since in one of the cutscenes you can actually see the moon in the background, really close by, and that's really interesting. Uh, that's uh, actually one of my one of the interesting touches that the developers have put into the, into the game. I like the fact that uh, the station can actually move such great distances without a problem, which means that the station has its own propulsion system, which I'm really interested to know more of. And of course, looking forward for um, like more stages uh, and more story that will be bound to the to the station. There's like uh, the talk that uh, well at one point in the future that the 
Gravehaven cast, that the crew, that's the Gravehaven uh, squad, will actually abandon uh, Eden for for various reasons. Uh, that might happen uh, at some point. That might happen since uh, the Eden kind of is corrupted in a way, which is really interesting to to know. So we we can expect something like that. I'm looking forward for for stuff that's pretty much like that. That's interesting. And I think uh, there's also the possibility that the um, there's also the high possibility that the Lee and the Liv that we see here is actually uh, are actually clones of uh, the real ones that are either dead or hiding. Pretty much, uh, there is a possibility, a sad possibility, that there is um, a Liv or a Lee version ascendant like Alpha. And that's really interesting. Uh, that's really, really interesting. And there is the possibility that they are just hiding somewhere, which is also uh, something that I'm kind of looking forward to know, since there is a really high possibility that there are other uh, Grey Raven members that are real, that are the originals, but that they're just hiding and that they just defected from uh, from the station. Which is a really interesting plot and really interesting uh, turn of events. Well, and back, but back on the back on the event. Well, this event is all about. Uh, looks like looks like we're about to be running around and giving people dumplings. All right, that's kind of interesting. And of course, the first one who will get one is Lucia. Why not? I mean, I mean, let's make let's. I mean, she deserves like she deserves to be. So, um, since she is so much into the commander, she deserves to be the first one to get a gift from him. Let's not make her. Let's not. Let's make her a uh, a good character, shall we? Although I kind of like the new Lucia. Not gonna lie, I kind of like the new character. All right. Well, hmm. Salty or or sweet? Which one shall I give her to give to her? Um, I would give her the sweet ones. Well, let's see. Let's give her. Let's give her. The actually, yeah. Let's let's do that. All right. Well, she likes it. All right. Nice. Well, that's that's interesting. She enjoyed it. Oh, okay. She liked it. Nice. Uh, which one should I give to Liv? That's a good question. Well, I kind of don't know. Let me ask Lucia to clarify what should I give to her. All right. Well, that means I should give to her the sweet ones, the honey ones. There we go. Let's see if she will like them. Let's see. Oh my god, that face. Yep. That's the face of uh, of she enjoying the food. Alright. That's good. Well, that's... Uh, she's satisfied. Time to... Time to go to the next structure and to... Give her a gift as well. Oh, it's a Lee. Oh my god. What the hell is going on here? This is not looking good. <laughs> this is not looking good. Why? Oh my god. This is gonna be... This is gonna be fun. Let's see, which dumpling should I give to him? Uh, sweet or salty? Let's see, oh my god, I think I made a mistake. Yep, uh, okay, well he actually liked it. Alright, I will not complain. Alright, Island Beyond, oh my god. Mm. They have set them by asset size, comp by asset size. The biggest assets on the left, smallest assets on the right, and the one that's in the middle. In the middle. All right, which one shall uh, shall I give to her? Let's see all the options. Oh, okay. Oh no, not the salty ones. Oh my god, I did a mistake. She is pissed. Oh my god. Yep. I'm getting arrested. There we go. That's what happens when you make a mistake. You get arrested. All right. Lucia saved my ass. Oh, there we go. She saved it. All right. Excellent. All right. Let's let's retry this. I made a big mistake there. Let's let's retry this. All right, let's give her the sweet ones. <laughs> it's an artist. Like I should have known better. It's an artist. Artists like artists like sweet things. Uh, Bianca, let's give her sweet ones. I I mean I I hope she'll. Oh my God, she doesn't like them. What the hell? Bianca doesn't like sweet stuff. What kind of sorcery is this? 
What kind of sorcery is this? Well, looks like I'll have to retry this. All right. Not a big problem. Let's let's retry this. Uh, yep. Let's give the salty ones to her. She likes she likes it salty. Oh my God! Why? What? Why did I just say that? <laughs> Why did I just say that? Oh, an enemy. Oh, excellent. I will give her the sweet ones. Nana seems like the person that likes the sweet stuff. So let's. I think I'll give that to her. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, and there is Chrome over there. Not Google Chrome, but Chrome. Alright, let's see what she has to say. Hmm. I have a bad thing that, uh, that I'm about to get brutally murdered by over here. Uh, did she like them? She actually liked them. Oh my god. Well, looks like I have escaped death this time around. She's not going to brutally murder me, so that's good. She's not going to chop off my head with the chainsaw. So, I'm not gonna complain. That's good. Okay. I honestly expected, like... If if I made a mistake on Anami, I, th I feel like she's about to, like... Take, like... Like, literally saw me in half. And bat bathe in my blood or something like that. I don't know. That's something that you would expect from Nanami when she is pissed. <laughs> I kinda, that's kind of interesting. Alright. Well, there is... There is... Come on, there is... Karenina. Oh my god. I'm about to get screamed at. I'm about to get shot with a cannon or something. I'm a kind Oh my god, there we go. Uh, yeah, I think whatever. Whatever I choose, she's just gonna yell at me. There we go. She keeps on yelling. Oh, man. And Kamui, let's see. He will not complain. He's a... Uh, well, actually, he's one of my also one of my favorite characters in the game. He seems pretty chill, not gonna lie. Alright, and I think this is the last... Yeah, that, I think that was the last one. Well, that was pretty... That was pretty interesting. A pretty interesting event, not gonna lie. I enjoyed it. Pretty... Pretty good. Pretty good. Well... Um, yeah, this was the Dragon Ball Festival event. It was pretty nice, I enjoyed it. And hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, that was the point of the video. And of course, uh, I hope you enjoyed. And well, I will see you in the next one. Take care.